continuing the Wi-Fi Pineapple pager setup, we are getting virtual. Let's see what that means. So I know I've mentioned this in a couple of other videos, but let's go ahead and dive into the Wi-Fi Pineapple pager virtual interface. It is a web interface that allows us to remotely control our Wi-Fi Pineapple pager, and you can enable it from the settings menu down here under system and just toggle that box. And what that means is when you your device, say your laptop, your phone, tablet, whatever, is connected to your Wi-Fi pineapple pager, either over a USB cable, right, connected to its network that way, or over the WPA management interface, then you can actually remotely control this. And those are some important elements to describe there because this is not going to be available to say the clients of your open access point or any of your rogue access points. So what we do is once we're connected to our Wi-Fi Pineapple and we have this box checked, we simply open our web browser and head over to http colon slash slash 172.16.52.1 colon 1471. And we will be prompted for the root password that we set up on our initial setup. And once I log in, you'll see here, it looks identical to what's going on on the screen. And so if I use my device in hand and navigate around, I will see the exact same thing happening on my virtual pager. And similarly, the other is true. If from my web browser, I click the arrow keys, I can go ahead into some of my settings and this will reflect on my device as well. And another fun thing here is in my web interface, I can actually use my arrow keys. So using the arrow keys, I can select the menus, pressing enter will emulate pressing the A button and pressing escape will emulate the B button for back. And if I scroll down, I'll notice that I have a shell that is a, a, a bash shell that will allow me to run ducky script commands, run any of your Linux commands. And now I have a full interactive shell with my pager right here over the web. A couple other quick features that are in the 1.0 release of virtual pager is that I've got a direct link to the manual, which I highly recommend you peruse, as well as the ability to then download the handshakes. Remember those WPA handshakes that we can collect? Well, click this, it'll grab you a zip file of all of those so that you can pass those on to whatever the other tools are that you use in your arsenal on your Wi-Fi engagements. Or I can just download all of my loot. If I click this, it will give me a compressed archive, a zip file of all of the contents of my loot directory, which resides in slash root slash loot. And when I'm done with all of this, I can archive my loot, which will move all of that to slash root slash loot slash archive so that when I download it again, I'm not going to include that. So order of operations is kind of important here. If you're looking for your new loot, download your loot, then archive it because you already got a copy. And it all lives on the persistent storage on the MMC. So there you go. And you know what? By the time you look at this, it might look very different because we are adding features to this web interface uh, that we call the virtual pager. And we're looking for your feedback on what you think might make it even more fun to use. I would love to hear it over at hack5.org pager. See you in the next one.